Okay, on this project, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be removing this old factory standard grill, and we're going to be installing this new billet grill from T-Rex. Okay, now that we've got our grill out of our truck, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and tape off around the edges of our, our centerpiece, so that way we don't damage the chrome while we cut this out. What we wanna do is we wanna just put it right on the edges of our chrome because we're gonna be cutting right along this line. Okay, now that we've got our grill taped off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and use our, our air cutting tool. Um, if you don't have one of these available, you could also use a, a, just a regular hacksaw or they also make air powered hacksaws that work equally as well or possibly even a, a sawzall would do, do what we need to do here. But for our purposes, we're gonna use this air cutting wheel. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take our tool and we're gonna start cutting along our taped off edge. We've gone ahead and we've cut, cut all the way along the cross the top here. Now the one thing you wanna look at here is if you can see here, there's still some ridges across here. So you don't have to cut this very close when you initially cut it out because once we get the whole grill cut out of here, then we'll go back over this and we'll smooth all these down. And that's one of the other reasons why we have the tape on here so we have a line to kind of guide us when we smooth these off. The next step then is to go ahead and turn this grill over. And then what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna go ahead and cut right along this edge inside here. Now we wanna be careful not to cut across our top because we need this to reinstall the grill into the truck. So we'll cut all along here, this top edge, all the way around this grill until we get this whole insert out of here. So we're gonna go ahead and start that now. Now the one thing we have to be careful is here when we're cutting along this inside is not to take our, our cutting tool too far because what will happen is that we'll end up cutting into this piece along here and that's what we don't want to do because we want to save this whole outer piece on this grill insert. Now that we've got our grill insert out of our framework and we've got all these edges smoothed down, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take our, our new billet grill and see how it fits in this new, or in our original framework. Okay, now that we've got that all pre-fitted and it looks like we have this where it's gonna work the way we want it to, We'll go ahead and start marking our spots to, to drill our holes for our bolts to mount this thing in here so we can get it back in this truck. We've got the holes marked. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove our insert. Now then where we've got our, our holes marked, you see we have, a, have our spots marked in these locations. So we're gonna go ahead and drill these holes out using a 1 8 inch drill bit. We've drilled out the locations where we're going to be installing these bolts, which we're gonna be using to hold our grill in place. So now we'll go ahead and get the grill and get it set in here and start putting our bolts in to attach it. Okay, now we've got our grill insert screwed back into our framework here. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and attach this back to our, our bumper piece and put this back in this truck and see what it looks like. Okay, now that we've got this grill and this bumper piece set back in here, we're gonna go ahead and reattach all the retaining bolts that we took out earlier, and that will complete our installation.